Well, hey, dudes. I know I've been requested a lot to do, uh, and it came from Discord binge compilation, but then I realized the majority of the Discord stuff is just the fun facts thing, so technically I've already done that. What I haven't done, though, is a binge compilation of all the weird, bizarre things that were not from Tumblr, so... Lo and behold, the It Came From Not Tumblr binge compilation, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness. The Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe. Join now! The seizure salad from McDonald's is so good. I can't date a girl who is lacto-tolerance. We couldn't even go out for ice cream. If you're applying for a job and you misspell the name of the company you want to work for, you won't get that job. Hashtag Amercha. Sometimes I snap at people on Twitter because I'm insecure. It's a defense magnesium. I think my grandma got diabetes. <sighs> Just because I'm white doesn't mean I can't have cornrows in my hair, right? I want to pet turquoise. I want to visit the Eiffel Tower in France one day. Despite the constant negative press, Confev. OMG, I seriously think I have ADHD. I can't focus on my homework. Twitter is my alter ego. Damn it, I lost 70 pounds. I look anironics. WTF is Obama's last name. Does anyone know? Seriously, does anyone know? What is Barack Hussein Obama's last name? Oh, I got it. It's Hussein. And now abbreviation said wrong. At French Kitchen. Bus tire weight. Dunk it yourself. Indescribable K-pop. Armenian kitchen appliances. Laying on legs. Cookies and punch. Nip nip. <sighs> Never open your face. Ostrich party. Oh man, goat. What the French toast? Totally tubular yellow leggings. Transparent graphics interchange format. Alligator suit length. Bacon fritters forever. I love Laurel. I mean Yanny. I mean kiss my nickels. Never meditate. Xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone. Bring your own bitches. Beelzebub rights birds. Bong cookie. Terminal yelling syndrome mates. Degrading little content. Aggressive, sassy, and pretty. So much. Ham! The freelance voiceover field can fuel a bizarre paranoia moment such as crap. Did I send the screams of agony for the horror project to the kid show project? I don't know. And now more abbreviations said wrong. Hashtag forever fries. Anime dudes rage! Boring, bland, legumes. Ha! <laughs> Jump kicks. Crusty cheese. Broken crusty cheese. Leggings make arses overpowered. Fucking yellow indulgence. Good grandpa. Go find yourself. I make horrible observations. Anime mouse pads anonymous. Downtown funk. Devil makes violence. Too many incubuses. Paper versus plastic. Persecution of Vladimir. Roasting omelets for lovely morning activities over a searing toasty computer. Reposting talker! <laughs> Ruining parents' goals. Waxing isn't pretty. Tough luck, Dungeon Master rules. Probably correct. New Smash fucking Rex. Yo! If Taco Bell thinks they're revolutionary by putting nachos inside of a burrito, then they've never met a drunk person. Where do you think we got the idea? Why are you obsessed with Disney? It's for kids. First of all, bibbity bobbity back the fuck up! The boss hands me a gun. You know what to do. I nod. Outside, I frantically Google, Boss, gun, why? How to kill. Is killing okay? Re-gift gun okay? Most cutting thing you can say is, Who's this clown? because it implies they're A, a clown, and B, not even one of the better known clowns. Uh, Grandma, can you pick me up from my rap battle? It's over. No, I lost. He saw you drop me off and did a pretty devastating rhyme about it. If you live to be a hundred, you should make up some fake reason why, just to fuck with people. Like claim you ate a pine cone every single day. Stop telling me your newborn's weight and length. I don't know what to do with that information. Is there anything more capitalist than a peanut with a top hat, cane, and monocle selling you other peanuts to eat? 
Does it have apples in it? No. What about pie? No pie neither. Perfect! We'll call it a pineapple. I'll bet when Godzilla first came out, God was like, Damn! That name's way cooler! Ready for the week! In that not really sort of way, let's do this! Bartender, I'd like you to bring that brunette at the end of the bar a slice of your finest ham. And now even more abbreviations said wrong. Make your own brekkies. Be really tubular. I dance crappy. Ask someone about pancakes. Warner Brothers. French the walrus. Inner manga opinions. Reply via sick poses. Net, Net assimilation. assimilation. Diddly diddly. Where's the head cheese? Out of creativity. Yeet! Back to K-dramas. Ech! Ooh, Strong Bad's toast. Overwatch tournament! Cool udders. Ugh, never ever request fairness. Full ech! Federal bees of investigation? Your tyrant. Are you Satan? Morgan Freeman's world. What would JoJo do? Suit the fuck up! <gasps> Senpai's on Snapchat! Like my stuff! Zenyata Zany Zen. Oh, my imagination. Kiss your soul. Couple of ways people have said my initials wrong. Present master. Proto man. Post Malone. Purple majestic. Popular man. Lies. Hello, pace minimum. Platypus motorcycle. Wah, wah. Precious maple. Premenstrual. Oh god, it's middle school all over again. Perfect man. Lies again. Probably married. No. No, I'm not. Possibly morbid. Pokemon master. Principal man. Pretty mobster. Bye bye, mutation. Please move. Polymorphic mandrake. Pie man. Pony man. Potato roni macaroni. No. What's a short, clean joke that gets a laugh every time? A Mexican magician says he will disappear on the count of three. He says uno, dos, poof. He disappeared without a trace. I have a Polish friend who's a sound technician. Oh, and a check one too. Check one two, check one two. Have you heard of Murphy's Law? Yes, anything can go wrong will go wrong. What about coleslaw? No. It's a thin sliced cabbage dipped in mayonnaise and sour cream. The Secret Service just had to change protocol for when the president is in danger. Instead of yelling, get down, they have to yell, Donald Duck! Now that's just goofy. A woman walks into a library and asks if they had any books about paranoia. The librarian said, they're right behind you! The other day my wife asked me to pass her a lipstick, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. She still isn't talking to me. Dr. Frankenstein entered a bodybuilding contest. Upon arrival, he realized he misunderstood the objective. Want to know the last thing my grandpa said before he kicked the bucket? Wonder how far I can kick this bucket? Communism jokes aren't funny unless everyone gets them. Before you criticize someone, walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you do criticize them, you're a mile away and you have their shoes. My friend says to me, what rhymes with orange? I said, no it doesn't. I went bobsledding the other day, killed 250 bobs. Now that's not a clean joke. Tell me a joke about potassium. Okay. I used to be addicted to soap, but now I'm clean. How do you get two whales in a car? Start in England and drive west. Instructions followed clearly. I'm in Cornwall. I ran out of lunch. I knew I should have taken a left turn at Leon Fair. Play with a game ball. Get a gory. Screen. Ante. Silence. Go. 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 And now quite some more abbreviations said wrong. Sealed with a Twinkie. Tequila and tacos. Ice cream slurping orangutans. Insane clown envoy. Didn't vaccinate Dennis. Inexcusable operating system. Probably underage basic gamer. When it fails indefinitely. Net original stiff. Creepy emu owner. Federation of rave dancers. Mindless entertainment made eccentrically. Pretty sick individual. Big dog, small dogs. Bro's totally ship. Ugh, gross pork sandwich. JoJo's eventual ending, please. Very insensitive prick. Awkward, sloppy, moist recordings. Every dubstep music. Professional hipster dude. Drugs are really expensive. Really? Awesome. Mom. Questionable vehicle choice. A terrible movie. Balance your emotions. And now, r slash jokes. How many friend zone guys does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'll just compliment it and get pissed when it won't screw. I called in sick this morning on account of diarrhea. My boss told me to get my shit together. What do you call a spider with 20 eyes? Spider. A guy walking to a library and asks for a book on sea turtles. The librarian asks, hot back? The guy replies, yeah, little heads too. The wisest men in the village could not figure out when the sun went at night. 
So they stayed up all night discussing it, and then it dawned on them. What is Thanos' favorite social media? Obviously, Snapchat! The son says to his father, Dad, I'm thinking about a career in organized crime. Father, government or private sector? Steve Jobs would have been a better president than Donald Trump. But I shouldn't compare apples and oranges. I got a new job today at Old McDonald's Farm. I'm gonna be the CIO. I'm 16. If you see a robbery at the Apple Store, does that make you an eyewitness? What do you get when you cross an onion and a donkey? Most times you get an onion with a tail, but every once in a while you get a piece of ass that brings a tear to your eye. Urban Dictionary. Dude bro. A male, ages 18 to 24, generally of the Caucasian descent, who refers to their acquaintances as dude and or bro in the same sentence. In this case, the male uses both terms in one sentence. The conversation begins with dude and ends with bro. Nine times out of ten. Dude, what's up, bro? Bro, I'm straight chillin', dude. Look at that fucking dude, bro. Make it snow. It is similar to making it rain, except that instead of throwing dollar bills, one is so rich that they are able to throw diamonds. In effect, making it snow. Diamonds can be substituted for a large quantity of cocaine. Making it rain is for poor folk. I make it snow. YOLO. Carpe diem for stupid people. I'm gonna smoke poison ivy and see if my lungs get a rash, YOLO. Why doesn't he just say carpe diem? That sounds way better. Stupid people don't speak Latin, that's why they say YOLO. Student loan. A mystical transaction in which a student and or parent subjects themselves to financial slavery, indentured servitude for the foreseeable future. Struggle bus. Used to metaphorically describe a difficult situation, as in hard schoolwork. The word struggle can also be used in conjunction with other modes of transport, describing the death to which one is struggling, i.e. struggle scooter, struggle skateboard, struggle footwear. Barbie. A plastic whore. If Barbie is so popular, then why do you have to buy her friends? Shit, that's actually a good point. And now, another peek at r slash jokes. A man was arrested and taken to an interrogation room. He says to the police officer, I'm not saying a word without my lawyer present. You are the lawyer, says the policeman. Exactly! So where's my present? I'm trying to organize a hide-and-seek tournament for a while, but it's not easy. Good players are hard to find. I don't quite understand this hate against vegans. I've never had a beef with them. I told my wife she painted her eyebrows too high this morning. I don't know if she agreed, but she seemed surprised. Do not touch would probably be a really unsettling thing to read in Braille. Why do you never see transgender people with kids? Because they're transparent. Eh. The World Tongue Twister champion just got arrested. I heard they're giving him a really tough sentence. <laughs> My girlfriend told me to take this spider out instead of killing it. We went and had some drinks. Cool guy. Wants to be a web developer. What do you call a book club that's been stuck on one book for years? Church. Your mom is so fat that yesterday someone tried to convince me she was flat. <laughs> God damn that fuck out of me. <laughs> Confab. When you want to say coverage, but your hands are too small to hit all the letters on your keyboard. Despite constant negative press, Confab. Analog shit. Having to go to the toilet without a phone, tablet, or any other digital device. Shit, I left my cell phone at home, now I have to take an analog shit like a caveman. Life, a sexually transmitted terminal disease. Bay. Bay is a Danish word for poop, also used by people on the internet who think it means baby, sweetie, etc. Bay, I love you so much. Bay, my bay! I just made a bay. Nihilism. It's useless to define it. It's useless to give an example. Net forget. Net forget is a person who frequently goes on a website to do something, but completely forgets his or her original intention due to the overwhelming amount of information on the internet. I was on Wikipedia the other day trying to look up Jay-Z, but I'm such a net forget I ended up looking at cat pictures. Yeah. Trumpet. Pull a fact out of your ass. So, did you actually research those assumptions or did you just trumpet? Wenger. A person who is unwilling to spend money. 
We need a car to have money to spend, but my husband is being a wanger. BDSM, Bible Discussion Study Meeting. Hey, want to do some BDSM? Sure, I love Jesus. Potato. People get confused when sentences don't end the way they potato. And now some abbreviation said wrong. Big. Black. Cat. Actual British cuisine. Hot damn my interest. Great, internet's fricked. Unbelievably rough legumes. Thighs or taps. Pretty regular orangutan. Crazy expensive overseer. Bees are erased. By those waffles. Citizen on patrol. Pancake syrup integration. Infinite Donkey Kong. Franny Felcher's fantastic French fudge. Extraterrestrial anonymous. Stop waifuing all things. Painted nothing. I love y yellow. Quiet Quasimodo. Gonna grow up. Carpe diem. And carpe diem again. All right, Reddit, what do you got for jokes today? Top Reddit posters should use their karma to help the environment. They are already experts at recycling. They should stock ATMs better. I went to four different ones and they all said insufficient funds. <laughs> what do you think that means? There are two types of people in this world. Those who can extrapolate from incomplete data. What do you get when you spell man backwards? <laughs> Flashbacks. A Buddhist monk approaches a burger food truck and says, Make me one with everything. I actually ugh'd at this joke when I first saw it. Would you like to donate $2 to end world hunger? Of course! Holy shit, I had no idea we were that close! Just spent $300 on a limousine and discovered that the fee doesn't include a driver. I can't believe I spent all that money and I have nothing to show for it. I like my lemon like I like my coffee. I've never had coffee, but it smells really nice. And get out, get out, get out, no Willow 3, you can just go ahead and get out. My friends and I experimented with sex and drugs when we were in high school. <laughs> I was the control group. YouTube reminds me of your mom. It went down on all of America last night. Oh! And some more abbreviations said wrong. Well, forgot my lunch. Two Korean bands. Never smoke dope. Is this loss? End of Doritos. Baku goes a penis. Never ever want sincerity. Oh, so much egg. Unofficial French Oscars. Oh, it's a compact, adorable tiger. Gods of all gadgets linked eternally. Attention destroying sequences. But I need them to live. Big dog snuggling me. For all the rich dudes. Calms brain down. Random access memes. Anime addicts anonymous. Chicken shaman's dead. Hashtag how are you at hug? I am good at hug. You told me I was the flyest! I feel betrayed! Now you know how we felt when you reviewed Sonic Colors. When you at the party, I'm on the treadmill. When you sleep, I'm on the treadmill. When I tweet, I'm on the treadmill. Remember this. Holy crap! Jaden Smith became a mood. Hey, instead of yelling hello when you think a murderer is in your house, say goodbye. Then if he's there, he'll be like, well, okay, I guess I'm leaving, bye. Listen up, teens, there's nothing meme about smoking cigarettes. It's not Netflix and chill to take a drug. Fidget spin yourself into church. What the hell did I just read? Alexa, make all these people leave my house. Playing Nickelback. That awkward moment running near a friend's house when you want to text them. Hey, can I move in your bathroom real quick? Rules for my car. No food. I pick the music. Must put this mask on. Feed off dash. Here, take this gun. We're robbing a bank. Don't be a p Patrick. Food, $200. Data, 150 Rent, 800 Candles, 3600 Utility, $150. Uh, so someone is good at the economy. Please tell me with this budget thing. My family's dying. When I start posting on Twitter, it's like orgasming when your dad walks in unexpectedly. There's no hope of stopping. It's all just coming out. Keep talking. I know some more abbreviations said wrong. Actually, my original story's cool. Dudes in yellow. Have me, Max. Do not assume. Pretty sick instinct. Butts only last once. Simulations is millennial. Make obsoletes dank. Gaslighting President Shyster. Watch your dubs. Fuck. Let's buy stuff. Bakugo is still a penis. Anime thighs are death. Great bongos. Kill your insecurity. I forgot yesterday. So fucking vain. False use of common knowledge. Your enemy is garbage. Really? Lord. 
Welcome back to Urban Dictionary Readings. Are you ready to learn some more pointless terms? Well, here we go. <clears throat> Body booking. Someone who is constantly posting pictures on Facebook of themselves in some swimsuits and workout clothes to show everyone how hot they are. Also paired with constant status updates about fruits, vegetables, juicing, working out, going to Whole Foods, and posting articles about these topics. This generally annoys the shit out of others, and there are never any comments on the posts except for the person's SO, who is equally obsessed and annoying. Gee, I sure am enjoying this green apple care protein shake before my 50 mile bike ride in the mountains with my hot boyfriend. Oh baby, it's gonna be a great day. Can you make some of that veggie soup later? Stop body booking and go eat some goddamn cheese fries! Mitt Romney money. One that has money beyond that of a normal baller, yet pays less taxes than a street pharmaceutical rep or an illegal immigrant. Who that new Lex he be driving? He must got that Mitt Romney money. I sure wish I could have some Mitt Romney money. Cock blocked by Steve Jobs. The act or reactive measure when the opposite sex makes eye contact with you and then proceeds to plug in their iPod as a defense mechanism to prevent you from making a move on them. I saw this girl on the bus and was getting hit on her, then she busted at her iPod. Aw oh, man, you got cock blocked by Steve Jobs. You know what, you should probably actually write that defense mechanism down. Not just for gross people like Josh and Sam that just wanna, you know, do the nasty, but like, for annoying people in general. Bedgasm. A feeling of complete and utter euphoria which peaks when climbing into a bed at the end of an 18 hour workday, a long road trip, or hours of extremely strenuous physical activity. Under perfect conditions, the physical release has been likened to that of an intense sexual experience. It was a three hour drive in the middle of the night. I could barely stay awake. When I got home, I climbed out of the covers and had a 10 minute badgasm. Oh, God, yes. Bachelor sip. To put your head under the faucet for a drink to avoid using a glass. God, that. Imagining that hurts my neck. Bed gravity. An irresistible force that draws you back to bed, or toward any mattress, couch, or other soft horizontal surface. Usually stronger when one or more persons are already on said furniture. Name shame. The point at which it's too late to ask for someone's name, because you spent so much time around them that you should already know it. Eater's remorse. The deep feeling of regret one feels after eating a large sum of food, eating something unhealthy, or just eating in general. What? That's a thing? I just eat food and be happy. Internest. The cocoon of blankets, pillows, duvets, and comfy things you gather around yourself to keep warm whilst spending long amounts of time on the internet. Not during the summer. Too hot. Asshole. Someone who asks many stupid, pointless, obnoxious questions. I know a lot of those kind of people. Bro, some of <laughs> what? A best friend that you never see. He's always hiding or just at home. Oh fuck, that's me. That is a mood. California, no. Oh god. Okay. The way rejection tends to be handled by Californians, who are sunny in disposition and less brusque than East Coast residents. Instead of bluntly saying no, Californians say no by avoiding the question forgetting to respond to emails, and generally postponing the issue. The best way to give a California no is to do nothing at all, as opposed to saying it outright. That's one way, but I'm pretty sure there's another way of saying a California no, and it also pairs with a California yes. The other way of saying California no is yeah, no, and a California yes is no yes. My friends in LA, why are you so confusing? And now, weird Twitter. Slept at a kid's house once in third grade, saw him pour milk into a bowl first, then cereal, never talked to him again. He's in jail now. Step one, sit in toddler's seat of a shopping cart. Two, tip over till feet touch the ground. Three, stand up. You are now a grocery turtle. No one can stop you. At the stroke of midnight, Neo wept softly, cradling the sour cream as it expired. The guy at Chipotle couldn't close my burrito. He looked up at me. I looked at him. I whispered, it's not your fault. He wept in my arms. 
Wait, these are pistachios? I've been calling them wood clams. Your body is a ghost factory that takes one lifetime to produce a ghost. Upgrade your regular rats to sewer rats today. A simple trick the Rat King doesn't want you to know. Step one, put them down the toilet. Hello, fellow teen humans. I heard the coolest place for us teens to hang out is mm, the colossal pillar of wasp eggs. Let's go, do not bring weapons. Draw me like one of your French toasts. You're terrible at metaphors. Wow, jealousy is a bad mustache on you. And now weird Twitter, part two. Okay. Folks, apparently Facebook has been purposely messing with people's emotions. Did they hire my ex-wife, Karen? If you read this, I miss you. Boss tells me I can kiss my ferrets at work, but no open mouth. I'll punch the floor so hard a screensaver deactivates. Hello, this is your captain speaking. I have, uh, fallen out of the plane. Yikes. Well, very impressed with the range on this, uh, Bluetooth headset, though. Buckle up. Kellogg's Special K. That's what Queen Elizabeth has for breakfast. In a yellow Tupperware bowl. I've been underestimating myself for far too long now. The worst part of nationalism is having to pretend the flag is really good. Like, yeah, the country looks exactly like that. They nailed it. In college, my professor walked in dressed as Snape and told us to turn to page 394. Capitalization can really change a sentence. Example, I love to eat candy, versus, I love to eat capitalization. Ask the bread and Krispy Kremes for five Nutella donuts and she says, have you got any nut allergies? I fell, I'm planning suicide by donut, exactly. Children crying as stepdad attempts to overturn custom t-shirt mall kiosk that accidentally typed number two dad on his photo. Stepdad also cried. Oh boy, lunch! Let's see what mom packed! Hope it's not just a note that says I'm a punk-ass buster! Uh, okay, it is that note again. Well, tomorrow's a new day. Damn, girl, are you a kid's movie from my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in so many ways I didn't originally realize.